CRM under the hood. In this video, you'll learn about some of the FileMaker techniques used in this custom CRM app. When you first open the file, a script runs as a trigger. The trigger is called On First Window Open. The script helps decide whether the app should take the user to the iOS layouts for an iPhone or the layouts designed for FileMaker Pro Advanced. This type of branching in a script can take your user to the right place in the system. Certain clients will have a star next to their name. You'll see this on the dashboard and client layouts. On the client detail layout, the star is a button that sets a priority flag field. The icon on the button changes color based on conditional formatting. If the priority flag is set to 1, the star turns blue. On the left, the star icon is hidden with conditional visibility unless the client is flagged as a priority. You'll see a list of records on the left of the screen and details for the selected record to the right of the screen. This is done with a technique called the Master Detail, where you create a portal, but you're not showing related records. Instead, you're showing records based on the found set. Clicking on each row then lets you show details about each selected record. This technique can be seen on the three detail layouts, Clients, Contacts, and Opportunities. In this custom CRM app, there's a consistent way for creating related records. With card windows, your main window remains exactly where you left it on the same layout and record, but it's now in the background. The card window takes focus. For example, from the dashboard, you can create a new opportunity. Here, card windows are used to populate the data. In some cases, you choose related data from a list layout. In other cases, the user needs to create new data without forcing the user out of the workflow. When you click on Client, you can choose or search from the list of clients. When you click to choose a contact, say your contact isn't yet in your app. You can add a new contact, which shows you a contact detail layout. Then you can choose that name from the list. All of this happens seamlessly, without pulling the user away from their task at hand. In designing the card window interface, you may need to create a workflow diagram like this one. In this case, the four main sections of the app are at the top. They indicate the starting layouts. Then you'll see a box representing each list and detail card layout and how a user can navigate to those in the app. The CRM app supports native use of JSON. This is used when opening card windows, or when switching between layouts and card windows. In Layout mode, clicking the Add button on Layouts, you'll see that JSON Set Element is used to send multiple script parameter values. These local variables are then used in the script to determine the action, source layout, record type, and more. In this video, you reviewed some of the FileMaker techniques used in this custom CRM app. With this app as a guide, you can incorporate some of these techniques into your own apps.